IPM, Frank Baxter. I'm working on your auto harp and I figured I'd uh, shoot a quick video to give you some idea of how far out of tune it is. And yes, it's quite a bit out of tune. Um, I'm going to bring all the strings close, right around where they should be, and then I'm going to let it set for a little while, strum it probably a few times to stretch them a bit, and then go back and smooth them out again. My only fear is because it's so far down, bringing them back up sometimes snaps strings. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So, in any case, I'll give you a couple examples. That one was already close because I had already just tuned, turned it. So now we go to the next one. It doesn't seem like it's much difference, but trust me, we're adding a whole bunch of tension to these strings, and they tend to do, want to do one of two things, stretch back or snap. Let's hope for the stretch. That's supposed to be the D. And you do this gently. That one's quite a ways down. And you can hear it coming close. And as I said, I'm not looking for perfection this time through. I'm just looking to bring the strings up close to where they're supposed to be. Gently. Because not only is this adding quite a bit of tension to the individual strings, but overall it's putting a lot of tension on the auto harp. Um, in pianos, for example, the grand piano that I'm sitting in front of, my Estonia, um, when it's tuned to constant pitch, we talk about total tension or pull, if you will, from the strings in tons. 18 tons, 19 tons, 20 concert grands, over 20 tons. That's a whole bunch of tension. Well, we're not talking that much with an auto harp, but still you are talking hundreds of pounds uh, of pull, torque, however tension you want to look at it um, from the string. So not only do we not want them to snap uh, or go winding back down again too quickly, but we want to be careful about gradually adding that, that tension, um, which should be okay because it's designed to be at a certain pitch. Uh, you just don't want to sneak up on it too quickly, and, and hence my taking my time here. And so I'll continue that through all the rest of them, um, and then as I say, I'll strum it a little bit to give them a little bit of a workout, stretch them back again. Um, hopefully they won't go as far down as they were. Um, I don't expect they will. They'll go down some though. And then I'll go back through and smooth it out and fine tune it so that they're actually uh, right on pitch. And at that point, it should sound pretty good. And then I would suggest um, one of two things. Either you learn how to tune it yourself and get a tuner uh, to reference, or get it tuned more often than whatever time it's been since the last time you had it up to, up to pitch. So. I'm going to stop the video for now and go back to work, and I'll be in touch.